You're on. I'm always on. <laughs> How many years by myself? Three, four. Where are you going? Today I'm going home. Home where? Home is in Latvia, where I was born. I'm going to visit. Last time I was there it was four years ago, almost four years ago. I went on my 25th birthday. Now I'm going to be 29. And I'm going home again. Whew. This is guessing plus one. <laughs> and so it's gonna be minus one. Yeah, it's gonna be guessing plus none. <laughs> didn't have both of the neighbors. Only had one guy, so there was a spare seat in between us, which was amazing. Neither of us got to use it, but still, it was nice to at least have a little bit more leg room. And the guy turned out to be pretty nice, so we got to chat. I don't remember the last time I made small talk on the plane, considering that I don't really travel that much on my own. When my plus one and I travel, we usually stick to each other. It was, it was nice. 
was uh, refreshing to just like chat to an absolute stranger and he was 49 turning 50 next year really nice guy easy going his name is jay hi jay it was a pleasure talking to you and now i am trying to find my gate i actually just got here and it's absolutely empty i already stopped by at starbucks of course to my biggest disappointment they don't have half and half here they don't have such thing as cream when i asked for cream they were offering me whipped cream and that's definitely not something i need especially with summer coming i don't need no whipped cream with my coffee Ooh. Ooh. the the walk was long i thought the airport would be teeny tiny it's actually huge it took me about 15 20 minutes to walk here of course when i stopped by starbucks i got a mug to add to my collection seemed pretty expensive it was half price of what i paid for a bottle of moet i don't know and i got a bottle of moet to bring over to my parents my mom loves regular and i love rosé but i decided to go with you know what she loves and i also got a huge ass tabaron that's for my nephew when i was a kid the only thing that i wanted from the airport well, of course i wanted as many presents as possible but the biggest thing was just a big tabaron bar this is the freak out when they start calling last call. I always think it's gonna be my name and I will have to grab my bags and run. Well, not this time. There's no one there. I think it's way too early and I don't really wanna just sit there. I'm just gonna walk around, maybe find some more stuff to buy. Of course, what else is there to do at the airport? Either you buy stuff or you eat stuff. I'll go check out Duty Free again and maybe some stores. Next time I see you, I will be on the plane heading home. So we are outside. I couldn't film it, but I had to take the stairs. There was no elevator or anything. Having all these bags, it wasn't that easy. The plane is teeny tiny. The little thing. And there are about, I don't know, 20 people. So this helps me. And I have a lot of empty seats. Pretty chilly outside. Not really dressed for the occasion. This is probably the worst. Wait, it's filming. so much okay I gotta go to the washroom okay so I got to the baggage claim I saw my suitcase the big fat colorful one is mine Okay, I'm waiting for the second one. 
And then I'm gonna head out to see my family. There's my second baby. Oh yeah. It's much easier when I have Jax. He takes care of the logistics. Okay, my heart is pounding. Oh, I see my brother. I see my brother. Okay, here we go.